Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Robbery. It's uh, fucking August 30th. Summer is over. O V E R. Over. Cheers. See that Bills cover, right? Let's go, Bills. Can't wait. About nine days. But uh, I think four games on the slate. First thing I always do is I check the lines. The lines tell you a lot of things before you even see the game. Uh, links at wings opened up at minus five, jumped up to minus seven and a half. Over on the 166 and a half, it's down to 170. Just run through them quick, nothing crazy. Uh, fever minus five, stayed the same. It's kind of odd if Kennedy's out. She got COVID. She might play. She might not play. But still, minus five with her being out right now, it don't make sense to me. Uh, Liberty Storm minus one. Find it minus three right now. Over under 164. Dream plus seven. First aces. Jumped up to plus ten and a half. Over under 164, 165. So besides that dream game, no crazy spreads. This fever game's a little odd to me, like I said. Card is out. There's no way that should be. I don't think they even anyway. Fever's gonna smoke them. And this Dallas game, since Sabali came back, they're a whole different team. Now they got Seagrass back. I think they've won every game since the Olympic break. Uh Lynx is a great team. I like third in the league, but uh, yeah, I got some player props. Let's get into them. Let's get into them. So first up, it's tobacco, people. Drug free, by the way. Uh, Fifteen months, September sixth. It'll be cheer. No drugs, no drinking. Corny Williams points over eleven and a half. Uh, even money right now. I call her the mid-range queen. She's nasty. If the teams are head-to-head, -head, not looking good, right? Yeah. Break that down to the last five. Come on. She hit this four out of five. Only game she didn't hit it was versus Indiana. She had ten. Succeeded 11 and a half points in five of his last six games, averaging about 15. Dallas overall last place in points allowed, which that's going to be different now, like I said, since the Olympic break. Uh, it's the guard position to rank 11th. But uh, she's, she can shoot the ball. Mid-range queen, I'm telling you. Don't even touch the rim. Check out her shot chart. Uh, like this site too, Props Madness. It gives good shot charts. A couple other tidbits that you can use to help pick your decisions. Like for instance, there we go. Defensive rank, uh, 12th pace rank, points in the paint allowed, last place, three points allowed, fifth, three throws allowed, 12th means they foul allowed, assists allowed, 12th, rebounds, they're good at. And then it's a hit rate for all players that played her in the guard position, as well as they don't have it, but usually it'll, it'll have players that play like the player we're looking at. But this is her shot shot for the year, Williams. 10% under the basket, 10% in the paint, 61% mid-range, because she's a mid-range queen. Opponent's defense, it's 11th in there. She's going to light him up. Sticking with it. Courtney Williams points over 11.5. Let's get it.
So next up, Richard Carlton over two and a half threes. Missed this last game. Uh, it's something I've been playing all year. If you've been watching, you know. Uh, last couple of days, it's been a little rough. Last couple of games. She hits it. She misses it. She hits it. But uh, we've been playing it since, like, over here. So it's definitely produced money for us. It's always plus money. Uh, I'm going to rock with it again. Uh, sometimes it's better to listen to what I say and not do what I do. No, but I played a threes last game. and They had a points line at eight and a half. I said play your points line. It was the safest. Like an asshole, I did not play it. She didn't hit a three. She cleared her points line. She also cleared her rebounds line at three and a half, which I also mentioned that. So hopefully you're just not watching for the picks and you're listening to what I'm saying. But our over two and a half threes, very capable of doing it. Um, I'm a rock with it. You know, she, uh, till she starts missing it a couple of days in a row, I'll stop. But uh, it's been very profitable for me all year. I'm going to continue to go with it. If, uh, if you haven't been betting it all year, or maybe bet a half unit since it's high plus money, but, uh, I'm going to continue to rock with it. Bridget Carlton. Her points line is at 9.5. So it's a little bit higher. Uh, definitely capable of going over it. She had 17 last time they played. But uh, I like that threes line for me personally. Let's up. I got Natasha Howard. Rebounds over six and a half. Minus 145. DraftKings. I have always used multiple books. This way you can get the best lines, best odds. Um. For the year, we got 61% hit rate, 11 out of 18 games. She's cleared this. Last five, 80%. Last 10, 70. Basically, right before the break, and since we came back right here, she's been clearing it. A little downward trend, but uh, she's been doing well. Uh, Exceeded six and a half at four to last five, averaging about eight. Minnesota's eighth rebounds allowed. If I change this to at least 30 minutes, just clear this eight out of 10. You see, in the beginning of the year, she was playing less than 30, all these. So once her minutes crop up a few, she's been going over it pretty easily. Uh, to the forward position, is still ranked eighth. Should be able to go over it. Not by much, but she's going to get it. Natasha Howard. We got Tierra McCowan rebounds over seven and a half. Minus 132 FanDuel. Uh, I've said this before, too. You see how it says 132 FanDuel, then 138? FanDuel have uh, eight plus. It'll say like eight plus rebounds, and it'll have a list of names. And then it'll say somewhere else, like down the page, it'll say her name, Tierra McCowan rebounds over seven and a half. And for some reason, they put different odds. So always just make sure you look for the best ones. As well as, like I say, you have multiple books because DraftKings got it at 140. On the door, 155. But uh, same reasons why Howard, I'm picking her since uh, the break. Oops. Computer's fucking lagging. Come on. Since the break, she's been uh, doing real well. 
The number was at six and a half. They did bump it up. But uh, she's been going off. We've been cashing in the last couple games. So, once again, you know, I'm going to continue to rock with it as long as it seems right. Minnesota's eighth overall to rebounds. To the center position, it does get a little bit worse. Sixth. But uh, McCown's been doing real well, especially since Sabali came back and stuff. She uh, is basically focusing on rebounds, but... Uh, They've been feeding us shots, too. Another play, if you want to get real risky, is first basket, Tierra McCown. Any type of basket or sometimes the foul shot. I've been messing around with that. I noticed that uh, they always want to play for her. So if they win the tip, she's usually the one getting the first shot. But uh, that's a risky. That's gambling. You know what I mean? But uh, McCown, seven and a half rebounds. Let's get it. Uh, rebounds and assists, nine and a half. It's a sweet number. That's the sweet spot. Now, Minnesota's great at uh, for assists allowed. Four out of the last five, she's cleared this. Games with basically since Sabali and uh, Seegers came back, she's been clearing this. Played this last game. I noticed that the game before, like a couple games before that. And, uh, come on. You can do it. Getting towards the end of the video, so what starts to happen is it's so much data from recording the screen, recording me. But uh, yeah, four out of well, actually, that's one game's last year. Every game this year since they they both been playing, she's gone over this. Now it's not by much, but she goes over it. Uh, she's exceeded nine and a half rebounds and assists for the last five game versus bottom five defense rebounds allowed, averaging a little over eleven. Hopefully she keeps the streak alive and keeps it going. It's a good ball. There's a couple of players throughout this league who you know actually care about ball and play ball. Like she cares about trying to win. She'll go for them 50-50 balls. She'll try to rebound. She'll, you know, she'll do the smart play. She'll pass. She'll take it in control. She has to as she gets to the hoop. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to rock with it. Like what I've been seeing, it's been cashing. Let's keep it up. I've been playing it a couple times. I mean, we've been playing it throughout the year, but uh, a couple times these last couple games here, we've been clearing it. We just played it first Connecticut. We cleared it. There's no signs for me to not play it. Uh, Succeeded 19 and a half in four of the last five games on the road, averaging 21. So, yeah, there ain't really much more to say. She's going to score. I know Caitlin Clark's on the team now, which actually helped Mitchell, too. Mitchell's been in the, year, uh, in the league for a couple of years, and it was her team, you know. But now we had some rough patches in the beginning of the year. Trying to get acclimated with Clark and everything, and I guess losing power, and control of the team, but they figured it out and they're really gelling together. And uh, Clark's, you know, uh, the magnetic for defense, so she get double teamed. Um, you can look out for uh, Boston, but Aliyah Boston, but her line's a little high, but. Chicago and the way they are, they're going to go at her, at Clark, and she's going to be able to dump it down to Boston. They're pretty uh, not great defending in the paint over there under the basket.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. See the eleventh under in the paint. So Boston will be able to take care of that. But uh like I said, her points line's a little high. This is on Mitchell. It's a shot chart where they play defense. Hit rate sixty percent for players that play like her. Excuse me. Everything's in green. Good sign. Let's get it, Mitchell. Make me some cash. All right, there's two other plays I'm leaning on playing. Uh, Canada assists over five and a half, minus 135 on DraftKings. 138 FanDuel. She cleared that it's five out of five. She just gets six, but she does go over it. Vegas is sixth in assists allowed. To the guard position, it does get worse. But uh, last 10 games, she's hit this 9 out of 10. Head to head, it's saying 0. Oh, let's see what it's. These were all last year. So 9 of the last 10, uh, she won't clear it by much. But she does clear it. You can check out her rebounds. They got a three and a half. You can put them together, maybe. Rebounds and assists. Or we'll just rock the assist if you want. It's just another play you can look out for. And then I got one more. I was leaning on. I play this one a lot. It's uh, Sabrina. Azanuk. Whatever it is. Uh, it's under five and a half rebounds. Since Van der Sloot came back, as long as the uh, the matchup's good, she's been going under it. I didn't play it here. I knew she was going to go over it because every time she plays Los Angeles, she goes over it, as you see here. But uh, it's a pretty good hit rate. I've been playing it for a while, too. As long as it's at six, I usually play it under. So what all last year and the one was with uh Yeah, so use your discretion as always. Ace money to name, getting paid for the game.